Welcome back. We are just about there, almost down to single days in this countdown for the eclipse Monday the 8th. Our expert back here in studio, Deborah Ross, chair of the Rochester Task Force for the Eclipse. All right, we are focused on myths, misconceptions about this day that afternoon. I want to start with one of the most asked about things. Of course, yes. we know the weather. If it's overcast, people may think, it's not going to be worth it. I'm not going to notice anything. What do you tell them? Well, if you are outside the path of totality, that is true. Because you won't be able to use your glasses to look up at the partial phases and have that experience if there are clouds in the way. But if you're in totality, like the entire Rochester mm -hmm. area, well then, during totality, it will become not just kind of the twilight around you like it does on a sunny day eclipse. On a cloudy day eclipse, if it's thoroughly cloudy, you're going down to real, profound, saturated darkness for those three, three and a half minutes, depending on where you're standing. So in the time before the partial phase, while it is true that these lovely glasses will be mostly a souvenir um, <laughs> if you can't use them yourself during the partial phases, you'll watch the live NASA feed on your, on your TV or your computer. And then a little bit before totality, you must make sure to go outside, get your eyes adapted to the sort of the slightly diminished light there and then in the last minute whoosh down to darkness and you want to be outside with the people you love. Yeah so there you have it on that point we will get our money's worth out of that yes. with the glasses. Yeah. We've heard a lot of warnings about buying them online. What are we looking for to make sure that this one's legit this one's not going to help me. Right. So we actually hadn't noticed a lot of counterfeits until just a couple of weeks ago. Um, but so the ISO certification stamp on here is important um, and that can be counterfeited too. Yeah. Anywhere you can get them in person around here, you're safe. Anywhere you can get them online, if you go to the American Astronomical Society's uh, approved list and click right through to those distributors, you'll be fine. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just order randomly online, especially the knockoff ones. If you can see anything through your lenses, yeah. you sh they are not safe. You should only be able to see the sun if you're pointed up that way. Yes, and do not drive with them. There are no, no substitute for sunglasses. No. We've heard that too. Finally, we know that there will be three minutes and change of totality. Right. But this whole afternoon, people may think, oh, it's going to be a long experience. We'll start to notice the difference and really see it and enjoy it for a while. Is that true? Well, if on a sunny day eclipse from first contact, which is about 2.07 p.m. when the moon first starts covering the sun, you want to be looking up at through your approved glasses at them. Otherwise, though, you wouldn't know this is happening at all. Mm. Our eyes, it, it, it's because the sun is so powerful, we don't actually start to perceive a change in the light a regular person until it's about 99% coverage. And then uh, then the light quality starts to change around you. And in that last minute goes down to darkness. But we can only imagine what that must have been like in a pre-scientific age mm -hmm. where it suddenly goes down to darkness. It's not like a gradual sunset that makes you or your pets confused or anything. It's just a normal day. There's, the sun is the same as it always is. There's no damaging rays. You don't have to put glasses on your pets. And you don't need them to just just walk around with yeah. because the sun is just like it always is. But you do want to be watching from first contact to totality and then afterwards from totality to last contact. Listen, there you have it, debunking some of those myths. Deb, thank you. She's got the experience, saw it in 2017 in the Midwest. A reminder, you can catch all of our Eclipse coverage, the stories, the preps, the expectations, everything planned for that whole weekend leading up to that Monday the 8th under the Eclipse tab at rochesterfirst.com.